Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you how to install iron ender chests. So if your ender chests in Minecraft do not have big enough storage, you'll definitely want to get this mod because basically what it does is it gives you more storage space in your ender chests, which could be really helpful for some people. But quickly, if you do find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like on it. Also hit that subscribe button as well. I upload daily Minecraft videos. But let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the link in the description down below. Come to this website just here. As you can see, this is Curse Forage. From here, you can scroll down and have a look at what the ender chests look like. So they do look pretty cool. But we actually want to download this. So simply scroll up and click on the little files icon just here. Click on that. And from here, we can see they do have multiple versions and also multiple mod launchers. So you can download this for the Neon Forage or you could just download it for Forage. It is really up to you, but it looks like Forage just has the older versions. So if you do want the newer version, 1.21.1, you'll need to download Neon Forage. And this version just here has literally just come out today as I'm recording this video. So to actually download this, simply what you're going to want to do is click on the three little dots over here, then click on download just here, click on that. This will take about five seconds to download. While this is downloading, if you do want to get yourself a Minecraft server, be sure to check out Apex Hosting. They have some really good high quality servers, especially if you want to play with your friends. They also do allow mod servers as well and also plugin servers. And also does come with a DDoS protection as well, so you always are safe playing on your server. So be sure to check them out of the link in the description down below. You're also going to want to download Neon Forage as well, as that is the latest version at the moment that Iron Ender Chest actually supports. So you want to download this, simply to download this, come over to the side here, make sure it's got the 1.21.1 in here. Then click on the download button just here, click on that. And that will download as well. Now I'm currently on my desktop, what you're going to want to do from here is actually go to your Fire Explorer, mine is down here, I'm going to click on that. And from in here, what we're going to want to do is go to our Downloads folder just here, click on that. And here we are, our two files, just drag these out onto our desktop just like that. Click on the little X button and very quickly, what you're going to want to make sure, now make sure you do have coffee mugs in here. So as you can see, we've got two coffee mugs in here. If you can't see the coffee mugs in here, what you could do is just right click on here, open with and make sure you've got Java here. Now if you don't have Java installed, you will need to get that installed to make this work. So I do have a video on it, I will leave a link on the screen right now, also in the description down below on how to get that. And that is required to make this work, so be sure to check out that video. Now once you've got that installed, simply what you can do is, you actually have to find the Neon Forage one first, which is this one just here. So find the Neon Forage installer, and just double click or right click, open with, then Java just here, click on that. This will load up a little menu just like this one. Simply from here, what you're going to want to do is make sure it's got install client here and make sure it's got your .minecraft down here. If you can't see your .minecraft here, what you're going to want to do is go on the three little dots here and actually find your .minecraft folder. If you need help with that, be sure to leave a comment, I'll be able to help you out with that. But simply from here, what you're going to want to do is go on proceed just here and click on that to let this install. This may take about 30 seconds or so. And as you can see, mine has now done. So I'm clicking click on OK just here. So from here, what we can do is we can actually get rid of this file here. We do not need this one no more, so just get rid of that one. Now to actually install our iron ender chests, what we're going to want to do is just load up our Minecraft launcher. Also while we're in here, I do want to just say, make sure you do have Neon Forage selected down here. If you can't find it in here, what you're going to want to do is come up to installations up here, click on that. And from here, you might be able to find it in here. If you still can't find it in here, click on the little modded icon in the corner there. Make sure that is selected and down here, here it is. If you still can't see it down here, what you're going to want to do is go on new installations up here, click on that. And in the versions just here, click in here and find your Neon Forage just here, click on that, just there. Make it a name, give it an icon if you want to. Also, very recommended, come down to more options down here and just bump this little 2 up to a 4. Not only do this if you have got more than 8 gigabytes of RAM, so it's up to you if you want to do that. Then click on create down here. But I'm not going to create one, as I've already got one. So next, what we're going to want to do is actually come down and click on the little file icon just over here. Click on that. And now what this will do is actually load up our .minecraft folder. And in here, we can see we've got a mods folder. Now, if you don't have a mods folder in here, and basically I'm just going to delete mine. If you don't have a mods folder in here, what you can do is you can right click in here, hover over new, then click on folder. Simply just call this mods like that and click on enter. Now once you've got our folder in here, just double click into it. And now in here, we actually need to drag in our mod. So I'm going to minimize down Minecraft. And here it is, our mod just here, Iron Ender Chest. Just drag that into here like that. Very easy. You click on the little X button just up here. Come back over to your Minecraft launcher. Come back over to play. Make sure Neon Forage is selected. Then click on play just over here. You might get a little warning on the screen. If you do, click on I understand and click play. So I'm now in my Minecraft. And simply what you're going to want to do is just go to your inventory. And in here, we can see we've got another selection up here. So what I'm going to do is click on the little arrow just there. And over here, we have now got our iron ender chests. In here, we can actually see all the ender chests that we have got. 
So as you can see, we've got some placed down just now, and yeah, they look pretty cool. If we actually go into them, you can see the inventory size is actually a lot bigger. So here is a normal one just here. So in here, as you can see, it's quite small. Go to this one here, it's actually like double the size. So that's pretty cool. So that's how you install iron ender chests in Minecraft. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to leave a like. Also hit that subscribe button as well. Also, if you want to get more FPS, be sure to check out this video here on the screen. But that is it in this video, and I'll see you all in my next one.